Good morning. I am uh, here to bring you some a letter from our board at uh, Costa Kamadi Community Church and to wish you a happy new year. Uh, I'd like to read this letter first from our board, from our board chairman actually, Alex, who asked me to read it on his behalf. On behalf of the CCC Board of Directors, I would like to wish everyone a very blessed new year. 2021 has been a challenging year for many of us, including our Costa Alegre Community Church. For many of us, uh, challenges were daily living restrictions to our personal freedoms with measures that we may uh, have never experienced in our lifetimes. Depending where we live, for some, it is the inability to gather and worship freely. For others, the inability to travel as we please, even to the point of not being able to travel here to Mexico. For our beloved Costa Alegre Community Church, Hurricane Nora destroyed our Palapa building, preventing us to gather normally. But through it all, the Lord was faithful, and he prompted our brothers and sisters in Christ to uh, step up and volunteer to help us with uh, by shade tarps to enable us to gather weekly together uh, with a makeshift covering. The board has a budget goal of 600,000 pesos to rebuild the church building with uh, more improved concrete support structure. We are now close to reaching our budget goal and completing our new building, which Lord willing should be completed in the new year. And the way it looks now, will probably be under a roof in uh, January. Thank you uh, everyone who has contributed to the Palapa Building Fund and to the many volunteers who have helped with the weekly running of our church services. Thank you for your patience and your giving. We are planning to have a church rededication service to celebrate the completed project in January. Again, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I wish to express our gratitude to all of you. May the Lord bless you this Christmas season, which is over now, and uh, spend time with your loved ones and continue to serve the Lord. He is worthy of our praise. And this was sent to you from Alex iPhone uh, to you, wishing you a very blessed New Year. And for me, I just wanted to uh, add to that just a little. Uh, we have totally been blessed down here by the help that uh, has come along both physically and financially. Uh, it just blows your mind sometimes what uh, we've experienced as far as help. And we're so grateful to everybody. And I would personally like to thank the whole church family uh, in Costa Alegre Community Church for your help and your support. We couldn't have done it without you. And the second thing I wanted to mention is that uh, even though our numbers are down, we've experienced a real influx of new people coming. And for that, we're very thankful. There's a good spirit there. It's a great place to be. And we're able to worship freely. And we thank God for that. In the new year, we plan to have a our culture awareness uh, program again and also a dedication service which Alex mentioned before and we'll keep you posted when that will be. I was walking down the street the other day and I ran into a, a lady who was uh, very distraught and worried about traveling and getting home and, and she had a bit of a cold and a sore throat and she was afraid she was going to test positive and wouldn't be able to get on the airplane. And I told her, I said, that's not a bad thing. I said, that way you can stay down here. But I, I tried to make light of it, but I could see that she was uh, really upset about how difficult it is to travel now. And the, it, always, it amazes me that, that people, um, the worries that have been placed on us by different things in travel and government and I wanted to encourage her, and I, I put my hand on her shoulder, and I said, can I pray for you? And I, I just prayed for her that uh, God would strengthen her 
And God would also uh, just give her a spirit of power. And I want to read this to you from 2 Timothy 1.7. For God did not give us a spirit of fear or timidity, but He gave us a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. And uh, I pray that for all of you, that you may be empowered by God's grace and His mercy. God bless you. Have a great year.